The Pi 3B Plus was a great revision to the Raspberry Pi line. Faster networking, faster chip, and better thermal and power management. The one total surprise was the new 4-pin Power over Ethernet header. Power over Ethernet provides power and data through the networking cable. To make this magic work, you'll need the new PoE hat. At around $20, it's fairly affordable and really cuts down on complexity when remote powering a Pi 3 Plus. The hat has crucial hardware to protect the Pi against voltage spikes and to turn the 48 volts from the PoE hardware into a smooth 5 volts for the Raspberry Pi. They also chucked in a cooling fan, which is not strictly necessary, but definitely useful, especially if you have a hard working board inside a small enclosure. There are slots and recesses for the Pi camera, the display, and the hat is light on GPIO use, really only using I2C for fan control. The PoE pins and the lack of pass through means stacking hats is non trivial. Pico Hat Hacker or other shim is an option, as is soldering through the holes on the top of the PoE board. Let's install the hat and take it for a spin. There are two standard ways of providing PoE, using spare wires in the Ethernet cable, or piggybacking on the data lines, which works a lot like phantom power in microphone land. The PoE hat supports both of these. You'll need PoE aware hardware at both ends of the link, so your standard Ethernet switch won't work. These switches have four PoE enabled ports and a nice chunky power supply. Each port can deliver around 15 watts. That's about three amps at five volts, give or take. Perfect for the Raspberry Pi. All we do now is put an SD card into the Pi, hook up a cable to the Ethernet socket and plug at the other end into the switch. We have life. Power and data in one sweet cable. If you have an older Pi or a switch without PoE, you can still play this game with PoE splitters to get 5 volts from a PoE connection or PoE injectors to add 48 volts to a plain old Ethernet line. Have fun putting a Pi anywhere you like with long, cheap Ethernet runs.